This beautiful vase was made from carved silver in the 15th century, and is the object of Italian folklore that still continues to frighten and inspire. Its history is a bit foggy at its best, but legend tells us the vase was made for an Italian bride as a wedding gift in a northern village close to Napoli. On her wedding night, the new bride was found lying on the floor dying and clutching her vase. Just before she died, she promised to return and seek her vengeance. After her passing, the vase was handed down from family member to family member, all dying of mysterious circumstances until, eventually, the vase was boxed and hidden away from sight in a secret location. The history as to who hid the vase is sketchy, but some people say it was buried on sacred ground by a priest, others say it just simply disappeared only to be rediscovered in 1988. According to legend, a piece of parchment paper was inside the vase with a message saying beware dot 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 this vase brings death. The warning was discarded, and the vase was quickly sold off at auction selling for 4 million lira, and its reign of death continued. The buyer was a local pharmacist and owned the vase up until he died mysteriously just three months later. His family quickly sold it to a prominent surgeon who did not believe in such things as curses, and died two months later aged 37. After a short amount of time, the vase was sold yet again to an archaeologist who purchased it for his own private collection and saw the vase as a true artifact of the higher renaissance. Three months later, he died of an unknown infection. The family decided to sell the fancy vase, but it started to gain a reputation and was considered bad luck. They was unable to get back the 5 million la he brought it for, but they still managed to sell it. This time it took only one month before the curse of the Vesno vase took the new owner's life. By this time the townsfolk believed in the curse, including the remaining families, and tossed the vase out of the window. In one last unearthly insult, the vase is said to have nearly hit a policeman on the head, who quickly offered him a fine for disorderly behavior. The owner of the haunted vase took the ticket but refused to take the vase back wishing to be arrested instead. The police tried to give the vase to several museums, but they all refused to take it because of the curse. To date, several newspapers have reported that the local police had once again buried the vase in an undisclosed location, though some sources have claimed that it was put in a lead coffin and buried on the grounds of an ancient cemetery where no one will dig it up. Let's hope that's where it stays.